thing even threatens to come into the Gulf, we all just hold our breath. Yeah. Yep, uh, I always say to people like to make the comparisons mm -hmm. and my answer is always every storm is different. They're all going to pose different threats. They're going to act differently and wouldn't you know it, we've got something to watch right. tonight yeah. here uh, in the Caribbean. So this is Invest 99L. If you're following along, looking for info on the interweb, it's in the Caribbean Sea. It's moving to the west and it's got an 80% chance to develop in the Western Caribbean or Southwestern Gulf of Mexico. That's a high probability. Want to talk about some of the nuances in play now as far as why we're seeing this little north and east trend on the forecast uh, with the tropical model. Modeling. This low is going to move toward the Yucatan Peninsula, and as it gets there on Saturday, this high pressure over the Carolinas is going to start to tug on it. It'll be influenced by this high, which will want to turn this more to the north. Uh, this forecast is going to depend on exactly where that high is. You know, if it's different in any other spot, the forecast may change a little bit, and it likely will over the next few days. But that's going to be a big player in the future track. Of of this tropical wave. The models, the spaghetti plot at least looks like it's in fairly good agreement, but I think a lot of the western half, the western side of the Gulf of Mexico is going to have to be paying very close attention to this, especially over the next few days until we start to refine the forecast. So this is the National Hurricane Center hatched area, and I put timeline days on this to show that it's going to get back into the Gulf on Sunday, and then it's Monday, Tuesday time frame that we're going to have to uh, uh, pay attention to where this is going. That's when it looks like it'll move ashore somewhere on the US or Mexican mainland. So once that center develops, which it hasn't yet, that's going to key us into a little better outlook on where this thing is going to go. We're also going to have to see how it interacts with Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula. And still, I don't think we're at a point where we can identify a specific track or intensity down the road as it gets into the western Gulf of Mexico. The forecast confidence is still pretty low into early next week on Monday and Tuesday. But as far as what we need to be thinking, we've got to be highly attentive in this orange zone from Corpus Christi to New Orleans, aware of it basically from South Texas to the panhandle of Florida, but it's not time at this point to be implementing your plans. You need to be having them ready to go, thinking about them until we get the more forecast detail on the future of this. Uh, it's not time to implement the plans yet. There's also Saharan dust between here and this tropical feature that may mitigate some strengthening that's to be determined still what will happen with this is it's going to move into South Texas we're going to have hazy skies lower air quality that starts late Thursday Friday